So today we're continuing our discussion on the analysis of one quantitative variable. Specifically, we're looking at the empirical rule, and we're going to work through an example so I can show you what it would look like on the curve and also how to do the calculations. So today we're looking at the average um, height of college females. So we have a mean for the population. So remember mu is population mean. And that's going to be our center. And then sigma is 2.7. So remember that this is population standard deviation. So last time we looked at the empirical rule and the calculation for it, recognizing that the center of the distribution is going to be mu or the population mean. So here, because our population mean is 65, the center of our distribution is going to be 65. And then what the empirical rule does is it goes out one, two, and three standard deviations from the mean in either direction. So here, to get out to one standard deviation, I'm going to subtract from 65 the measurement for standard deviation. So that would be one standard deviation below. And that gives me 62.3. And then if I add over here to 65, one standard deviation, that would bring me out to 67.7. So that means that inside of these two values, 62.3 up to 67.7, we would contain 68% of our population. So then what the empirical rule says, if you go out two standard deviations, so if I go out two standard deviations, I'm going to now take 65, but I will subtract 2 times 2.7, and that brings me, oops, down to 59.6. And then if I add two standard deviations up here, so 65 plus 2 times 2.7, I would come up to 70.3. And so what the empirical rule says is in between those two values, so um, from 59.6 up to 70.3, 95% of college female heights will be contained within those two numbers. And then the empirical rule goes out one more step. So three standard deviations above and below the mean. So the mean is the center. This time I will subtract three standard deviations. So 65 minus um, three times 2.7. And that brings me down to 56.9. And then up here, if I were to go out three standard deviations, I'm going to do 65 uh, plus 3 times 2.7, and that brings me up to 73.1. So in between these values, we will include 99.7% of our population. So what that means is between 56.9 and 73.1 inches, we would have 99.7% of college female heights. So remember, the empirical rule is a snapshot of a population. It takes the mean and adds it and subtracts one standard deviation to get you out to 68%, two standard deviations bring you out to 95%, and then finally at three standard deviations you'll include almost everybody, 99.7% of the population.